Special Operations Command has selected you for a dangerous covert assignment. Will you accept? You have volunteered for a covert assignment with Special Operations Command in conjunction with Galactic Terran Basudan Intelligence. Our primary objective is to provide the Alliance with accurate and comprehensive information regarding the tactics, technologies, activities, and strategic objectives of forces hostile to the GTVA. Okay, pretty self-explanatory. Missions with the Special Operations Command are carried out deep in enemy territory with minimal logistical support. Our behind-the-lines activities include infiltration, sabotage, surgical strikes, and intelligence gathering. You will be working undercover within the Neo-Terran Front, leading Alpha Wing of the 185th Fighter Squadron. They don't seem to be called anything, which is a shame. Your contact in this mission is Lieutenant Commander Christopher Snipes, an Allied officer who staged his defection to the NTF six months ago. As squadron leader of the 185th, Snipes will advise you of your mission objectives both as an NTF pilot and as an Allied operative. You will be equipped with a device that will enable you and Snipes to communicate over a secure frequency in battle. NTF ships will interpret your transmissions as targeting data. Quite naughty, that's just Alexander McCarthy blurred out. The focus of this covert operation is the NTF's ETAC project. Because access to information is restricted to the highest echelon, our knowledge here is limited. ETAC involves the development of a new cutting-edge technology, possibly a weapon of mass destruction. Admiral Bosch oversees the project directly, and the Rebels are constructing a prototype on the Iceni command ship. We need to get a closer look. Even a scan of the Iceni would be valuable. Can do. We are working with the full cooperation of the Sudan Tactical Command and the Terran 6th Fleet. The probability that you will engage Allied fighters will be minimal. However, should you come under Allied attack, you have limited authorization to return fire and self-defense or to complete your mission objectives as defined by Lieutenant Commander Snipes. Your restraint and use your judgment. Can do. We're definitely going to come under attack. This is Lieutenant Commander Snipes. For all you replacement pilots, welcome to the 185th. As you know, Admiral Koth's defeat in Epsilon Pegasi has opened the Polaris system to Allied attack. At 1425 hours, GTVA expeditionary forces crossed our Jumno blockade. The Colossus won't be far behind. Bosch isn't taking chances. We're moving the Iceni command ship to the regular system, where Bosch will install his provisional government. We've practiced this drill before, pilots. Alpha and Beta Wing will escort the Iceni to the jump node. Delta, you're on standby. Where is Beta? The Regulus node is located within a small asteroid field. Our job is to clear a path. Asteroids on a collision course with the Iceni will be indicated in white brackets on your HUD. That's how you know which asteroids to shoot. The gunners on the Iceni will help us out, so we shouldn't have too much trouble. Okay. I remember how much, review your objectives for this mission. how much trouble we had in free space, the original with uh, paving a way thanks to a pathing problem. Anyway, can fly the old Herc Mark 1, tempting to, but the Myrmidon really is much better suited for the task at hand. Now, let's make sure, well we, I don't think we can equip our fellows, no we can't, we can only equip ourselves thinking what would be best. Hmm. I think actually I'll put swarmers in. Eh, actually. Put Tempest in that bank, there's not enough space. So let's uh, commit. Three relatively tough missions, these. Alpha 1, do you copy? We're on a secure channel. We need a scan of the Iceni. Target the warship and close to 600 meters. Keep the ship's lead indicator in the center of your reticle. What's that science cruiser doing out here? NTF command never briefed me about it. Must have something to do with ETAC. That's strange. I don't know what any of this means. We'll see what our analysts come up with back home. And bonus objective is to scan the Hinton. In case you were wondering. Allied forces now jumping in. We've got a Mentu class cruiser with fighter escort and a wing of bombers. All units, defend the Iceni. Nice job, pilot. You never know what you're going to find. Alright, kids, here's the game plan. Take out fighters and bombers first. If 
Okay, gotta focus on the fighters first. They seem to be in love with us slightly. Okay. Okay, time for the bombers. Protecting the Hinton is a secondary objective, but not vital to actually getting any medals from this. So I don't care too much. Especially since they're rebels, and we don't really care if they die anyway. We have received an update from the Epsilon Pegasi blockade. More of the Sudan warships are on their way. The Iceni will proceed to the Regulus node as planned. All units, defend the Iceni and the Hinton. They must reach the Regulus system. The future of Neoterra depends on it. Sure. Sure it does. Got a bit of space to rearm, no need to. Let's focus on the uh, bombers. Down they go. Whoa, haha. <laughs> it's a bit uh, violent. Okay, another fighter. Okay, we just got the uh, Serbek here to deal with. Unless small bombers. I'll take them out. Okay. Focus on this bomber. And it goes. Okay, thank you for that, uh, student Corvette, the Assar. Okay, I should focus on the asteroids now, because we really can't do much against this guy, compared to what the Iceni can do. And the asteroids are, are doing a lot more damage to the Iceni than the enemies are. Ooh, something's attacking us. Gunpowder down, do not need gunpowder, need shields. Okay, going to... Whoa, those anti-fighter beams are not friendly. Not going after that. Stick away from the... Students as far as possible. Should be okay if we stay out of uh, trouble for the most part. If only I seen you would actually take a shot, they'd call that. Okay. Ah, there it goes. There it goes. Lovely Iceni, well done. Okay, gonna need gunpowder now. Okay, more asteroids down. Yes, another. the terrorist is taken out, apparently. Another one down.
Okay. How far are you from the node? Quite a way still. You down. You down. You down. Right. Even more asteroids. On there. One there. Another one there. Ouch. That one impacted. A lot of asteroids here. The Icenia is in real danger. Luckily it's almost there. And the game's frozen. That's bad. Okay. Unfroze. And that asteroid down. Right. Almost clear. How far is the Hinton from the waypoint? Game is slowing down again. Okay, there we go. Fraps is still on. Just want to double check. And Hinton actually made it for once. It's usually destroyed by the uh, by the Vasudans. Let's get away from the Iceni in case it decides to jump into us. Can happen. Rare, but not worth the risk. As we have um, two brave little Lokis, as well as one Delta Wing and Alpha Wing, that is Snipes, of course. 12%. And there it goes. Good job, pilots. Admiral Bosch and the Iceni have reached the regular system. Let's get back to base on the double. Oh, job well done. Mission went quite well, actually, considering how it usually goes. Alright, pilot, I've got some good news and some bad news. Good news is we got the Iceni and the hint into Regulus. Hooray! The scan data you've collected has been transmitted to the GTBI, and our operation to uncover the secret of ETAC continues as planned. The bad news is we're in a lot more danger than I think you realize. The Basudan warships were under the command of Admiral Amos, who had full knowledge of our activities. The fact that Basudans knew the exact time and position of the Iceni's departure has made the rebels just a little suspicious. As usual, the GTVA is overplaying its hand. Amos and his subordinates now face a court martial for insubordination. The Rebs are all over that one. Not only did the Admiral know the position of the Iceni, he wasn't authorized to act on that information. Our squadron will be high on the NTF's list of suspects. Indeed. One more thing. The pilots under Amos's command had been informed of his renegade status before they launched their attack. Under these circumstances, we had little choice but to return fire or blow the entire operation. Watch your back, pilot. This ain't gonna get any easier. Okay. Check our stats. Four kills on three assists in that one. Torrets and Sekmets, nothing extraordinary, but... We pull through, and um, what you don't see is for rank, we get points for completing objectives and killing things. We lose points for losing men, taking reinforcements, and resupplying. So, despite not kills, don't count for everything when promotion is considered. What matters is getting the job done and doing it well. So, this mission was a success from that step. 